All right, so Shark Tank for so what? What I'm what I'm picturing for this well, infomercial? It lud- it's ludicrous in on the pitch. Yeah, of course okay. we we have ludicrous with us because you know he, he we have him and uh, Guy Fieri Stample. Sample. Stamp. Sample. Sample. It's a sample stamp. stamp. Yeah. We also are selling stamps by them. It's a yeah, separate it's, thing. Yeah, it's a, it's a separate thing. Because if I'm on Shark Tank, I don't. everyone's like, here's this thing I've planned on for years. I have numbers. It's like, let's pitch and multiple back. ideas. <laughs> just shooting things out. I'm, I'm throwing out everything I've We're had. We're spitballing here. Yeah. We got Ludacris and Guy Fieri stamps. Yeah. We've got the, the, the fucking cows that we're tipping. We and stamp we're the just... cows before we tip them. Yeah, it's a lot. There's a lot of. I different like to things. think that for the steakhouse, you know, it's like a really like art. Do you do you remember the Sizzler commercials from the '90s where yeah. they're like really artful and tasteful and stuff <laughs> like that? Yeah, I'm thinking much like more a, artful and tasteful than a Sizzler <laughs> if you've ever went to yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, they really make a Sizzler, Sizzler look like a very balloons? nice place. Did they? I, I remember Ryan, going didn't, to. Didn't Ryan Steakhouse do balloons? I never went to Ryan's Steakhouse. Really, my mom's yeah. side of the family was like obsessed with Ryan's Steakhouse. They well, we it. didn't like the way the cows were treated. They well, just they, they weren't. Yeah, they weren't tipping them enough. Yeah, you got to scare them to death with ludicrous. I really want the beginning of our Sizzler style commercial on Shark Tank to start with me slow motion. Not well, starting with me walking out to the field, you know, and I'm clothed in like a, a very nice kimono, like mm-hmm. a silken blue and black kimono. That I take off and fold very graciously, and I am wearing the uh, crotchless and assless big blue mm-hmm. boot cut jeans underneath, uh, oiled up. Very. I would like up. to think at this point at least one of the sharks are out. Uh, well, and because of that, I'm out. <laughs> and we're uh, like, shh, shh, we're no, not you just going. just give it a chance. Just give it. Uh, just watch. Just watch. watch I'm this throwing right up here. nervously in the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's all you do is puke nervously. Yeah. I'm the one who has to suddenly do all the talking, even though the whole pitch you were just like, I'm gonna do the yeah, talking. It's I got. Me. This. I got this, and I'm just puking. <laughs> It ludicrous is just holding open a garbage bag. He's just like, man, come on. Yeah. And like, uh, thanks, Lou. The word of mouth was my first rap. Of <laughs> <laughs> chicken and liquor. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were ironically back to your what you're puking waffles. up: chicken and liquor. Yeah. Uh, chicken and waffles, right? Yeah. Or beer and chicken. What Sh- the fuck was? <laughs> I thought it was why, chicken and this liquor. This is what we're telling him. I don't think it's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's chicken. I don't think it's chicken. You should have named it chicken. <laughs> <laughs> chicken and liquor. Chicken for sure, my guy. <laughs> yeah, we're just pitching for better, sure. better album titles for his previous release. That was the whole point of this. We just shot the commercial for shits and giggles. Yeah. We just wanted to talk to Ludacris yeah. about how we should instead of we instead of we were able to meet instead him. of the life of Pablo and it, don't change the music, just keep changing the title of it. Yeah. It makes it more obscure to find. Yeah. Um so I'm out there oiled up, like oiled up to the point where like my hair is also oiled back yeah. because of it. Real scumbag. Real scumbag looking shit. Like I just like rolled around in a greasy beach. Yeah. And so, and then you see the moon, like it's one of those weird like avant-garde things where you see the moon and the stars like doing like a full rotation and you see the moon like light change on me. Like obviously I'm standing there for a long time just watching these cows. And then product endorsement, you see the large beats pill on my mm-hmm. back, which I begin to slow, which I strap on. <laughs> I slowly... And the power button is like this. <laughs> it's, it's huge. It's like a stop sign. And so you just push it with both hands. And so <laughs> I gracefully walk up to the cows and I say a silent prayer in a lost ancient tongue, <laughs> and I smack the power <laughs> button. It just goes boom, boom, and it propels you up into the air. It propels me, and no, it propels me so hard into a cow like a rocket wow. pack that I grab the cow like this on the way by. And it's just going, and its legs are stuck out. And you see you drive by <laughs> lis- listening to the ludicrous song in the car. Move, but it's much quieter. Yeah. Move, get out the way. And you just see in a, a beautiful slow-mo motion you driving by, and it's the scene as you're driving by of me slow-mo suplexing this cow onto the ground you see the fear in the cow's eyes reflected by the moonlight you see the tenacious greasiness in my face as i'm like just slow-mo smashing the cow to the ground and we just slow-mo see your face as you're just like oh my god (laughs) and then it it freezes for a hard second on the oh my god and then like it's this square that fades back into like darkness with like an echo of god then we're like here at Dapper Dad's Dump, you can come in and get yourself a fine-tipped cow any day of the week. Here, we believe in treating the animals right. They're grass-fed, organic, free-range. And then Slim puts on a giant Beats pill and plays Move, Bitch, Get Out the Way by Ludacris. Chicker, liquor, come <laughs> later. <laughs> Bad, just from the back of your Ludacris go, I did not approve that. 
I was actually told I would be here under different circumstances. Uh, we told you we uh, in the infomercial. We told Luda we were going to talk to him about it later. Yeah. Patent pending. Luda che- would also like to che- say he's in the next Fast and Furious. Checker liquor coming twenty nineteen. <laughs> and we take the cow just and us in the studio we, listening to bad as ludicrous we, we t- just us i'm sitting there with a dead cow that i've tipped yeah. over we take your cows and we personally tip them and when the other ones die from fear of adrenaline we massage the meat in a room that plays nothing but bang and new ludicrous beats <laughs> then we, it's moved on to a separate room from the conveyor belt where guy fieri comes and he just yells at the cows and talks about how fantastic of a seasoning is going to go on them from there, they're put through a giant grinding machine where we use every single part of the and cow. And there's like 45 minutes of footage. Just of cow just, that. just getting murdered yeah. and We're chewed like, yeah, up. Yeah, we, in, in post, we, we talked about trimming this down. But we really wanted to show you guys now, the process. Seeing it now, it definitely is uh, excessive. See, I mean, the big thing here is that you're getting an exclusive listen to Checker Liquor before it comes out I in finally stop puking and I look up at the footage. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Luda's like, I'm running out of room in the bag. His arms are Luda, shaking. open your shirt. <laughs> let me puke it man my shirt's tucked in pu- yeah that's fine let me puke through the neck hole <laughs> yeah. it'll catch it let me puke on your Just chain me puking in, in <laughs> Chris's neck hole <laughs> and he's just standing there why did I sign a contract with these guys I don't even get anything from this and then we and then it's us sitting at a table in very very nice suits. I'm still very greasy, still wearing the asses. I'm chaps. still vomiting. Uh, and we and it like the conveyor belt slides out two perfectly plated steaks that we just take and we just throw into our mouths because no chewing involved. Yeah. They're so tender it's from small. all of the yelling and it's the like ludicrous butter. beats. It's literally just butter. And then it's us for five minutes just like gripping the edge of the table trying to swallow a steak whole. Just like, <laughs> ugh, 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 just just like we neck muscles this getting before. tense. But like you're trying to talk. Like, oh, and I'm like, oh, oh, as we're both just trying to like, I'm like punching myself in the neck trying to get it down, like slapping myself. I'm like, oh, just veins sticking out of my face. Really zoomed in and yeah. Yeah. shots of us just, just ah, sweating because sweating we're trying to get this steak down our throat and then we finally just, ah, and get it down and we're like oh, oh, we're looking for six water. million dollars for a two percent share of our company 